Yeah, hundreds, Michaela, and we were told that the deadline was 6 a.m. We just got an update from the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. They'll start closing the area at 8 o'clock, and uh, that's when we'll start to see some of that enforcement. But this begins a month-long closure of the area for a cleanup and renovation project. This is what the homeless activity here can do to a public space. This is Lario Park in Azusa, where some of the homeless say they've been camped out in this area for years. Let's go to the video. Sky Fox was overhead, this cluster of encampments along the San Gabriel Riverbed, and the 210 freeway this morning so you get an idea of the scope of this encampment or several here along this area it's estimated over 300 people are living in tents or in their cars local church groups meanwhile they've been visiting the encampments daily with the homeless saying that they've been getting food clothing and toiletries an added benefit they say of being here at this location it was a nice little program, a nice little setting, the way they had it. You know, they had a free, you know, the donation with the food and all that stuff. So it was all right. You know, I'm not going to complain about that. But, you know, they gave out the clothes and, you know, it was all right. Volunteers come and they feed us. And, I mean, uh, it, it, we put ourselves here, but it, 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 but now we're being forced to leave. I, I'm, I'm fortunate enough because Union Station is hooking me up with a voucher to get an apartment. So I'm, I'm actually in a motel, but I come down here to help my friends. And, and a, lot of, a lot of these people down here don't have that opportunity. Outreach workers with the city of L.A. have been out here for the last week offering services like housing. But as we've seen before, uh, many are refusing to leave, refusing to accept housing. Back out here live, this is one of several signs clearly posted in the area warning trespassers. After this morning, their cars will be towed. They could face being arrested. Uh, again, we haven't seen the enforcement from the L.A. County Sheriff's Department just yet. That should be happening in the next hour. But we can tell you some of the homeless here have been packing their things throughout the morning and are ready to leave if they haven't already. Reporting live here, Michaela, back to you. Okay, again, that deadline you said uh, is this morning. People are down there trying to get some services and some interventions to, to the folks to give them options about where they can go. Because, Mario, that's the thing. We don't, you know, if you just move the problem to another community, that community has to deal with it. So the idea is to give them wraparound services to get them out of homelessness. Yeah, and that's one of the big problems, the big concerns that we heard from residents here nearby the hiking trail who say, you know, these people will just be pushed somewhere else. Many of them uh, aren't seeking housing, proper housing, so they're just concerned that uh, a lot of these people will end up on city streets yep. nearby. Yep, yep. It's a growing concern for all of us here. All right, Azusa is the story where Mario is. Thanks so much for that. We'll keep an eye on it with you.